girls who live with their ex-girlfriends. I think that is crazy. If you could find a friend who you could try to stay with, when the time being, you know what I'm saying? I understand, but sometimes, like, when you break up, and everything's been connected, like, you don't always have the... Have the funds and the you that's know true, that's money true. to so, move on. So, so like you know, sometimes you have to you know keep it civil for like a month or two until that person can you know because it's hard going from that's true, come, they, from splitting all the bills. You know, so yeah. you pay two hundred twelve hundred a month in rent. That's six hundred dollars a piece. You know. Well, it's understandable if you are like in a point in your life where you can't go ahead and afford to live on your own or whatever. Like I think a month should be sufficient enough time okay two months isn't sufficient enough time for you to find someplace else or somewhere else to stay because living with your ex-girlfriend is crazy and especially if you're trying to meet other people you're going to have to start off with lies because i know the person you're going to try to get with is not going to be happy about you living with your ex so you're going to have to start off with lying Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Mm -hmm. 